Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my top summer habits that make me feel my best, make me feel like it's summer. We have some wellness habits, we have some beauty habits, and then we just have like some fun habits that make it feel like summer. This video is not too serious, but I hope that it gives you some inspiration, maybe gives you some new habit ideas to put into your daily routines this summer to help you feel your best. We're gonna start with beauty habits. So the first summer habit that I love, I got this last summer, it is an ice roller. And so ice rolling my face in the mornings, you guys, if you watch my morning routine recently, you'll see me do this. I do it while I drink my coffee or my greens or water, um, or while I'm just like waiting for my breakfast to cook, I just keep it in the freezer. This is the Skinny Confidential Roller. It is one of the higher end ones. It's it's like $60 I want to say. I got one for my mom for Christmas too because she loved mine so much. It is really cute and you just put it in the freezer. It gets ice cold and then you roll it up and down your face. It helps with lymphatic drainage and also it just helps to like cool your face. There's nothing like going on a hot walk outside and then coming in and using this in the morning and it really just wakes you up. I also like putting it like right under my eyes because you know the cold spoon method at least like that's what I was doing when I was younger is you put a cold spoon in the freezer and then you put it under your eyes to help with puffiness. That's what I do with this. They have other options on Amazon of course. You don't have to get the skinny confidential one but such a good beauty tool that feels so good, especially in the summer. The next beauty habit I've been doing daily is dry brushing my skin. So funnily enough, I had this dry brush for years. It's from Josie Moran, but again, you can find one on Amazon. And I stopped dry brushing, hadn't done it for a while. And then in the move, moving into this apartment, I found it deep in my bathroom cabinet. And so I set it out. I gave it its own little setup in my bathroom. It's actually really cute. It reminds me of like a little princess setup. They say dry brushing has some really great health benefits. I'm going to put it on the screen and it's really good at exfoliating. So I don't do this every day, but when I remember like a few times a week, I will dry brush before I get into the shower or before I'm about to shave my legs or something like that. It feels so nice. It honestly feels really good. The one thing my mom always told me when you're dry brushing, she told me this a long time ago, is you brush up or down based on to your heart. So like most of your body, you're brushing up. So you're always like brushing towards your heart. I don't know why but that's what i learned and that's what i always do when i use my dry brush okay so a beauty habit that doesn't take a product is air drying my hair i love air drying my hair it dries so quickly in the summer when i'm like getting ready to go outside and then i go outside with wet hair and i feel like 10 minutes later my hair is dry <laughs> i'm thankful that i can air dry my hair and it's still semi straight um i kind of wish i had like those beachy waves you know like where you go in the salt water and then your hair gets all curly or wavy and beachy and like the sea salt sprays we all used to douse our hairs our hair in um i wish i could have that like carefree summer beachy wavy hair but my hair just air dries straight so that's what we go with but i do like air drying it and just taking a little bit time off of heat tools in the summer unless i really need them i also put on sunscreen in the mornings. some i usually wear sunscreen year round but for me putting on sunscreen in the mornings is like a, such a nice habit because of the scent okay so i love the smell of sunscreen it just reminds me of summer obviously like being at the beach putting on sunscreen i specifically love sun bum scent it's the banana scented sunscreen we love sun bum but just for every day um under my makeup sunscreen i've been using this one from neutrogena it's good like it's not anything crazy it's called invisible daily defense um spf 30 and it's pretty good um but any kind of sunscreen and like taking a moment to like really appreciate the summer and the smell of sunscreen if you like it as well. Like to me, that means more than just getting the sun protectant. Like obviously we need to be putting sunscreen on, but just like smelling it and just like being transported back to the beach every morning when I put this on in the summer. Also, um, when I'm putting on my sunscreen, I put some on the back of my hands because I drive everywhere. And so they say that your hands can get a lot of sun damage from driving. So I try to also put sunscreen on the backs of my hands in the morning. Obviously that gets washed off pretty quickly when I'm washing my hands throughout the day, but at least we tried it. So now let's move into more like health trends as well. I love this, I put these two together, but doing like a morning sauna or a morning swim. Obviously, that's not available to everyone. It's actually not even available to me here in Nashville. I do have a pool at my apartment, but it's not one that I would like want to swim in the morning and that feels really refreshing. But at my parents' house, they have a sauna and they have a pool. And when I went home for a week over the 4th of July, it was so nice. I actually didn't sauna while I was there. I didn't have time to sauna. But one morning, like after I did some work, I just was like, you know what? It's like 10 or 11 a.m. I'm just going to go for a quick dip in the pool to like refresh me. And it was so nice just to jump in, like wakes you up in the morning. It's like a cold plunge 
plunge I would imagine a cold plunge to be except a cold plunge is so much colder but it's like my version of cold plunge like as cold as I'll get in the morning is like a heated pool so I got in the pool did a little swim and just got out and felt so refreshed and felt like I could continue on with my morning and my work that day um so if it's available to you check out going to a pool join a gym with a pool or a sauna or what I do for saunas here in Nashville I try to go like once a month, once every few months to a sauna through ClassPass. So I love ClassPass, been using them for years for workout classes. Now they have wellness and beauty treatments on there as well. This isn't sponsored, um, but I will put my affiliate link below so you can see if you, you'll get like 20 extra credits or something when you use the link. But um, I love doing like infrared saunas, red light therapy, and those I can use my credits for on class pass. So every now and then I'll do a sauna here in Nashville with that. And it just feels so nice. Like I just put on meditation music or I bring my Kindle and I read and just sweat it out. And even though it's like really hot outside, being in the sauna makes it feel less hot outside. You're in the sauna at 120 something degrees. So then when you get out and you step into 90 something degrees, it feels cooler. So actually, if you're in a really hot climate, try sauna in the summer and the air outside will feel cooler when you get out. So yeah, that one I know is a little bit harder to replicate for everyone, but it's it feels so amazing. Okay, of course I have to mention journaling. That's a habit that I've been doing for years, no matter the season, but in the summer I find that I like to do like a lot of like memory based journaling. So usually when I journal, I write about a prompt or I'm following, I'm following a prompt or I'm working through um, an idea or I'm writing a gratitude list. But in the summer, a lot of fun things are happening. So I like to do little recaps and I also keep my summer bucket list in my journal. If you saw the um, July reset video, that was also like our summer reset video. I made a bucket list for the summer. So go and watch that if you're interested. Basically, I like to like go through my summer bucket list, think about what I did the day before, see if I can check anything off or look at the bucket list, like make plans for the next weekend of something to do on that bucket list. And I just like my journal journal is just like my happy place. And so like writing about fun summer memories, fun things I want to do kind of my mindset at the start of the day, I find is super, super nice. The next habit that I can't go without in the summer, is reading. I've been on a fiction kick. I haven't read any nonfiction lately, um, but I'll let you know when I get back into it. But I feel like summer and fiction, like it's the perfect way to heal your inner child. I have loved talking to so many girls lately about reading. I may do like a little reading vlog. I don't know what that's going to entail. But like recently, I even went on a reading cabin retreat with my friends. It was like a Sarah J Mass themed retreat. Posted that on my Instagram if you want to check it out. But um, I have been reading a ton. I think I've read like four books so far this month and we're only halfway through July. So the summer is just like time to read. I feel less guilty about reading during the day because it's like, oh, I'm reading at the pool on a Saturday or, you know, I'm reading before bed and, you know, I sleep in a little bit later in the summer so I can like stay up later. I've been staying up so late. It's actually bad, but um, it's summer. So we don't care, right? This is, this is other little habits. Waking up early is not a summer habit that I am adhering to this year. Just letting everyone know. Get yourself a Kindle if you travel a lot and you like books are too heavy and you're like, I just can't keep up with like going to the library or going to the bookstore or ordering them online. Get a Kindle. It makes it so seamless, so easy. Get Goodreads, get the Libby app. That's my trifecta. Like you're good to go. So let me know if you want a reading vlog talking about like how my, how I set up my Kindle with Libby, Goodreads, anything like that. Books, best books that I've read. I don't know. I wasn't going to be a like reading YouTuber, book YouTuber, but I think one vlog could be fun. So specifically in the summer, I recommend reading beachy reads like summer romances, rom-coms, summer mysteries or um, fantasy, like summer fantasy. So a lot of people think of fantasy as the fall, but I'm reading a series right now. It, it's called Daughter of a Pirate King. And then the sequel is Daughter of a Siren Queen, literally about pirates and mermaids. And it's the perfect summer fantasy. It's a YA, so good for e even younger readers and all ages. It's so good. You'll hear me talk about it in my August reset on my content corner but I've been loving that series for like a summer fantasy vibe. Okay, another one that you guys know I love because it's my morning routine, like all season long, but morning walks, specifically in the summer, like it's too hot to do an afternoon. Sometimes even an evening walk, it's so muggy, but usually like early in the mornings, it's okay. And it just is a great way to get up. Get the sun on your skin. I actually wait to put on sunscreen until after my morning walks because I think they, I've heard from different health experts, who knows anymore what's 
right or wrong, but I've heard that like having sun like directly on your skin in the morning is really good in your eyes and getting sunlight in your eyes. It helps start your circadian rhythm, all these things. So I feel like getting sunlight on my skin early in the morning is really good. Um, so usually on my morning walks, I'll wear sunglasses, but I won't put on sunscreen till after my walk. Okay. I absolutely love this one. This may be my favorite habit out of all the ones on my list. And that is to make something with your hands. And if you can do this every day, that's amazing. And it doesn't have to be crazy. You don't have to be a huge DIYer, but obviously like starting a hobby of like knitting or doing crafts or sewing or painting is so good. For me, I like doing that stuff every now and then, but the habit that I do every day with my hands is just cooking. So cooking my breakfast, cooking my lunch, cooking my dinner, making snacks, it takes time. It's time consuming, but just getting off your phone, working with your hands helps like lower my stress. I think it's proven that working with your hands helps lower stress and just helps you feel better, feel more connected, heal your inner child. So whether that's cooking or baking, um, do something like first thing in the morning or right before bed that involves working with your hands and I'm just watch. It's going to make you so happy. And usually it's something just like fun, like a fun hobby. Speaking of cooking, cooking with fresh produce. Summer is such a great time. I still have not been to a farmer's market, but it's such a great time to go to a farmer's market. I need to take my own advice going to a farmer's market, but even just like the Trader Joe's tomatoes have been such higher quality and so good. I love summer tomatoes. Oh my God. I fell in love with tomatoes two summers ago before that I didn't eat them. And now I eat them almost every day. So get your summer produce, try out some new recipes or just eat the produce fresh, get some berries. I got like, um, fresh blueberries on the 4th of July and made a blueberry pie. So like just cooking, whether it's healthy cooking or not with fresh produce and fresh foods feels so good. And you just feel so connected to the earth and you're like, wow, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm living my best life. Okay, the last habit is sporty girl summer, being outside and playing some sports. I haven't been able to do this as much as I wanted, but slowly and surely, I feel like I'm being able to be a little bit sporty this summer, which is one of my goals that I said back in June. I got pickleball paddles with my boyfriend. We have volleyball, um, like 4th of July, we played volleyball in the pool, playing tennis, playing, I wanna join a kickball league actually when it cools down a bit, like more in September or the fall. But just like getting outside, being sporty, whether you're athletic or not, just like having fun with friends, throwing a ball around or going to a sports game is fun as well. Getting back again, healing my inner child. I was such an active child. I was always outside. I always did a million sports. I I've actually played like eight sports in my life. So just, I was always super active, super sporty and athletic. And I just kind of lost that in college. I'm trying to gain that back. So sorry, I keep getting cut off by my camera dying. But as I was saying, I hope this video inspired you to try out some new habits, maybe add some things into your routine that aren't typically like considered healthy habits, but that like fuel your soul, that make you feel good, make you feel like it's summer and healing your inner child. I've been using that term a lot. I really think it's cute. Like for me, reading books about pirates and mermaids till 12 a.m. probably isn't a healthy habit, but it's something that I really love and makes me feel like it's summertime. I have a question for you. What is one summer habit that you've been loving doing in your daily routines or that you wanna start doing? Leave it in the comments below and I can't wait to read through and get some new ideas for myself as well. Let me know if you want more sit down style videos like this. I don't do these as much as like on the go vlog type videos, but I think they're fun to do every now and then. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.